Former Trump lawyer Jenna Ellis has pleaded guilty to lying about the 2020 election and has thrown Trump and his other lawyers under the bus. Oh no! Take a look. In the wake of the 2020 presidential election, I believed that challenging the results on behalf of President Trump should be pursued in a just and legal way. I endeavored to represent my client to the best of my ability. I relied on others, including lawyers with many more years of experience than I, to provide me with true and reliable information, especially since my role involved speaking to the media and to legislators in various states. What I did not do, but should have done, Your Honor, was to make sure that the facts the other lawyers alleged to be true were in fact true. In the frenetic pace of attempting to raise challenges to the election in several states, including Georgia, I failed to do my due diligence. I believe in and I value election integrity. If I knew then what I know now, I would have declined to represent Donald Trump in these post-election challenges. I look back on this whole experience with deep remorse. For those failures of mine, Your Honor, I have taken responsibility already before the Colorado Bar who censured me, and I now take responsibility before this court and apologize to the people of Georgia. Thank you. Mm, if I knew what I knew now, I would have declined to represent Trump. Ooh, and, ah, you know, I, I should have not relied on Rudy Giuliani and others to provide me with true and reliable information. Basically saying, Giuliani, not only, he, he lied to me. Not only did he fart in my face during a hearing, but he also lied. Can you believe that? Can't believe it. I should have done my due diligence. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. It is so, so, so good. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, look, it's another guilty plea. The dominoes already starting to fall. But it is funny because, uh, you know, the, all, all the calls about it being a witch hunt. For witch hunt, there seems to be a lot of people pleading guilty. A lot, they seem to be finding a lot of witches seem to be claiming, hey, we're actually witches. Huh, weird. Weird, weird. Uh, now, of course... Ellis uh, had agreed to a plea deal and will uh, only have a sentence of five years probation, uh, no jail time, 100 hours of community service, and to pay $5,000 in restitution. She's also written a letter of apology to the people of Georgia and, most importantly, has agreed to cooperate with prosecutors in this case. Ellis's plea also implicated former New York, uh, Mayor Rudy Giuliani course, and that she admitted to aiding and abetting false statements uh, at a December 2020 hearing before Georgia lawmakers in which they both pushed unfounded claims of voter fraud. So <laughs> here we go. She also said that she was assisting with the execution of the hearing along with Giuliani and Trump campaign lawyer Ray Smith, another co-defendant in the case. Ellis worked closely with Giuliani in Georgia and other battleground states where prosecutors say she pushed legislators to reject the popular vote results and send the state uh, send slates of pro-Trump electors instead, or the fake electors. Uh, and she also wrote memos for Trump, laying out an argument for Vice President Mike Pence to overturn the presidential election results on January 6, 2021. Both Smith and Giuliani pleaded not guilty, where she, of course, along with Sidney Powell, have. So she played an important role in the fake elector plot in the attempt to overturn the election results. So her getting a plea deal that is that lenient shows that she may be very important to the case against Trump. And so once again, Oh no, here we, here we go. Here we go. Uh, it's, it's, it's on now. All right. Now, <clears throat> Ellis, just like Powell, uh, had agreed to give any evidence or documents requested by the prosecution, as well as truthful testimony in any, related future trial. So now look, uh, you might be like, ah, but you can't trust her, right? Well, of course you can't trust her. She did lie, uh, but she lied on behalf of Trump and then realized hmm, not a good idea, bad idea. So that said, dominoes continue to fall here. Yet another plea deal in relation to the 2020 election, the attempt to, to, to overturn it. It's in addition to the ones involving lawyers, Kenneth Chisbro and Sidney Powell, and bail bondsman Scott Hall, who breached voting equipment at a Georgia County election office, Coffee County, specifically. Uh, now look, if I were the cleaning staff at Mar-a-Lago, I'd be ready with something 
that is able to get ketchup stains out because there is bound to be some flying hamburgers, plates, perhaps even crayons. You never know. Uh, aside from Trump's anger, of course, MAGA faithful, not happy. Let's go to Laura Loomer, who weighed in immediately by calling Ellis a quote unquote disloyal wench. Mmm. Fun. Quote. She's now going to use the money so many of you foolishly gave her to work against President Trump in an election year. Shame on every single moron who donated to Jenna Ellis. I don't know how. Another person says, uh, this is Alexander Shepard, uh, who was another Trump supporter, says, I don't know how anyone could trust her after this. No, it's actually the first honest thing that she's done, <laughs> at least in the public spotlight. <laughs> Uh, Derek Evans, a former West Virginia delegate who had served prison time for being a capital rioter, said that he could forgive Ellis for pleading guilty to avoid jail time, but not for throwing President Trump under the bus. For that reason, Jenna Ellis will always be known as a disloyal coward and a total scumbag. No, I will still always know Jenna Ellis is the one who got a face full of Rudy farts. COVID farts also. By the way, Rudy COVID farts. So uh, that is forever seared into my brain and probably seared into her nose. Isn't that punishment enough? <laughs> uh, another America First Twitter user also speculated that Ellis was lying about her guilt just to save herself at Trump's expense. Now, that said, I, it's possible. It is possible. Look, I, I don't really know if she means it. I don't really care, honestly, at the end of the day. She could absolutely be lying, uh, you know, uh, at least about her personal beliefs in order to save herself. Okay, fine. Um, now, of course, she is on the right side, obviously, but maybe saying things that she personally doesn't believe in or is just like, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to go and I'm, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to betray Trump because it's not worth it to defend him. And it's true. I mean, do you want to go to prison for that guy over a lie? Oh, and by the way, I'm the same man who wouldn't piss on you if you're on fire. That's the whole irony of the, of it all. Right? So if you work for Trump, you're a lawyer for Trump, you're expected to do crimes. Yes. That that's one of the things that he expects you to do. Do crimes. How many lawyers? Working for Trump, have either been asked to do crimes or have actually done crimes. Exactly. Uh, Michael Cohen's a great example. And I love how now it's like, oh, Michael Cohen, what a dishonest person. Yeah, yeah, is he is a dishonest person. And you know the first person uh, that he lied on behalf of? That would be you, Trump. Because you told him to. <laughs> you told him to lie for you, and he did. And you're like, what a dishonest person. No kidding. No kidding. But now, of course, he uses that against him when Michael Cohen is actually telling the truth about Trump. And now Janet Ellis is also telling the truth about Trump. That's being used against her as well. So that said, when you're his lawyer, and by the way, it, it, this, this, this even it, it gets worse when you realize how he doesn't actually pay his lawyers. So a lot of the legal representation ends up never getting paid by Trump, even though they're asked to lie and put their careers in jeopardy uh, and, and, and not only their careers, but their freedom as well. As, as Again, lying can get you some very serious penalties, including jail time. And so, look, I don't blame anybody who worked for Trump that's going, it ain't worth it. <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm not going to do crime and then go to prison on behalf of that guy who, you know, wouldn't bat an eye and actually will turn against me if I do go to prison. Immediately throw you under the bus the first chance he gets. And so Jenna finally is doing the smart thing, the first smart thing that I think I've ever seen her do, and throw him under the bus first. 